I'm out in my backyard on an unusually cloudy day for the Panhandle in Amarillo, Texas. And I want to tell you a story about my red wigglers, which are little worms, which I bought over the internet. About, about a thousand of them, and they came in a little box. And uh, they survived the, uh, the mailing. I bought them from uh, Amazon.com, I believe. And uh, I, I threw them in my uh, compost heap two years ago. Well, uh, they thrived, and uh, as winter came, uh, I bought a big uh, jug, a big, uh, a big container, and here is that container here. Now, this, uh, <clears throat> this very large container, uh, I put all the uh, compost in it with the red wigglers and moved it into the garage for the winter time, and then they, they thrived in the garage. And uh, in the spring, which is last spring, I brought them out out of the garage, and I, I kept the compost heap watered. But unfortunately, it was the uh, the worst drought in the history of Texas and the history of Amarillo last summer here. And as you can see from the clouds behind me, this this year is turning out a little bit differently, a little bit more moisture in the air, fortunately. Anyway, so. By the end of the summer, I was convinced that the worms had all died, and so I stopped watering the compost. I didn't move it into the garage this uh, last winter. I kept it outside in the snow. It does snow here, this part of Texas. And <clears throat> then I didn't water it all spring until now, and now it is June. And I thought, well, I'm going to finally get rid of this container. I'm going to dump the whatever compost is there dump it out, and then get rid of the container and uh, free up some space in my backyard. Well, when I dumped it, lo and behold, I discovered that there was living and thriving red wigglers inside of rich, deep compost inside of this, uh, of this uh, uh, container. Now, here's the, uh, here's the, uh, the compost. You can see this compost. There's some grass uh, clippings that I put in there recently. This compost is very healthy looking, uh, uh, crumbly, dark black stuff. But if I dig a little bit, I don't have to dig too far. There's some of these red wigglers right here. These worms are composting worms. They thrive in compost. And uh, they're still in there. They're still in there, still alive, and still doing, uh, still doing well. And that's the story of the Red Wigglers, which surprisingly have survived all this time.